Art is important. People who appreciate art typically marvel at its capacity to change their mood and make them think. Art takes us out of the mundane and celebrates human creativity and ingenuity. It's a conduit for so much raw emotion, life experience, and contemplation. Most art fans can't afford to spend exorbitant amounts of money on art from the masters, but they'd probably be interested in owning these exquisite paintings if they did have unlimited funds. These absurdly expensive paintings are indisputably status symbols for the ultra-rich, but they're also so much more than that. They've become prized because of their beauty and individuality. Thankfully, many very rich 1%ers do eventually decide to donate or lend pricey paintings to museums or art galleries so that everyone can enjoy them. And in the video, let's look at 10. Number 10. Masterpiece by Roy Lichtenstein. Value $165 million. The iconic pop art painting was created in 1962. Roy Lichtenstein was one of the pioneers of pop art alongside Andy Warhol and was known for producing work with an upbeat vibe, whereas Warhol sometimes went to the dark side. Lichtenstein would tend to stick to his signature comic book style, while Warhol would experiment. Despite their differences, these two famous artists, both of whom have passed away, will be linked together forever thanks to their memorable and so collectible contributions to the pop art movement. Masterpiece features stenciled facsimiles of the distinctive Bende dots found in the comic books of the 50s. These compact colored dots were named for printer and illustrator Benjamin Henry Day. So, who had enough cold hard cash to buy this legendary painting for 165? $5 million? Well, that would be a hedge fund billionaire, of course. His name is Steve Cohen, and he paid the princely sum for Masterpiece in 2017. Cohen owns a range of exceptional paintings, and his net worth is through the roof. He's the kind of guy who lists his New York residence for sale at $33.5 million and was once at the center of a pretty serious insider trading scandal. Number 9. New Kush by Amadeo Modiani. Value $170.4 million. This famous painting was produced during 1917, and it's an oil on canvas nude from an Italian master. Created more than a hundred years ago, its sensuality startled and hypnotized art fans when it was first exhibited in Paris. The artwork was part of an important series of paintings by Modigliani, which gave the traditional nude a modern feel. It's an expressionist artwork which was the biggest painting that the artist ever produced. In 2015, Christie's auctioned off this singular piece for an astonishing $170.4 million. Now, as notorious for its high price tag as its capacity to scandalize art fans back in 1917, it's a perfect example of the artist's unique portraiture style, which was largely centered on women with almond-shaped eyes and elongated face shapes. His paintings and sculptures challenged Western norms of beauty. The artist met a tragic end at the age of 35 due to tuberculosis. After his passing, his lover, who was expecting his baby, committed suicide. The masterpiece was purchased by a man named Lu Quan, who used to drive a cab. He is renowned for paying record prices to access exceptional paintings. Number 8. La Femme d'Algier, version O by Pablo Picasso, value $179.4 million. Version O is one part of the Women of Algiers series by Pablo Picasso. The series consisted of 100 drawings as well as 14 paintings, and all pieces in the series were created in 1954 or 1955. Version O was the final work in the series. Picasso's series Series referenced a painting by Delacroix, which was the women of Algiers in their apartment. In French, women of Algiers is Femme d'Algiers. The Delacroix painting inspired Picasso. It depicted concubines in an Algerian harem. Picasso was determined to make his own version of the painting that he loved, and so, well, he did that, and with masterful results. Version O is considered the most accomplished work of Picasso's series. Christie's auctioned this unforgettable painting in 2015 and kept quiet about the buyer, but in the No Insiders claimed that it was Hamad Bill Hassan. Sim, who used to be the Prime Minister of Qatar. Number 7. Pendant Portraits of Martin Sulmans and Upien Coppet by Rembrandt. Value $180 million. These full-length wedding portraits of a couple were painted by Rembrandt in 1634. Martin and Upien likely had no inkling that their wedding portraits, which are always displayed together, would someday fetch the astronomical price tag of $180 million at auction. While they may not have known just how valuable their paired portraits would become, they were probably as enchanted by the artist's talent as other appreciators of Rembrandt art. These gorgeous examples of 17th century art were once owned by the Rothschild family until the Netherlands and France teamed up to buy the portraits for a massive amount of money. The Netherlands and France take turns displaying the dual masterpieces. Rembrandt's style greatly evolved during his lifetime, but his work in general is renowned for its intensity. There was a psychological component to how he studied his subjects. The light, technique, texture, and situations in his work are 
endlessly fascinating. Number 6. Violet, Green and Red by Mark Rothko Value $186 million Minimalist modernity can be extremely compelling, and this contemporary masterpiece by Rothko is striking in its spare simplicity. The artist created his paintings to inspire contemplation from those who viewed them. Rothko frequently wanted his pieces displayed in smaller rooms without garish lighting, as he felt that compact settings with low-key lighting would make it simpler for art fans to become absorbed in his work. While his style is modern, it's never cold or clinical. In fact, he had a passion for drawing the strongest emotions out of those who gazed at his canvases. He really wanted people to just feel something. Number 6, Violet, Green and Red, stands out thanks to its delineated composition and hazy tones. The painting was created in 1951. Rothko wouldn't stick with art movement rules, but most art experts put his work in the abstract impressionist category. Dmitry Rebelovlev purchased this abstract work in 2014 for 140 million euros, which equates to 186 million US dollars. The Russian billionaire who bought number six was later arrested during a large scale corruption probe that took place in Monaco. Number five, number 17A by Jackson Pollock. Value $200 million. This abstract expressionist work is worth a bundle. It's safe to say that most painters don't end up producing paintings that fetch $200 million at auction. The unfortunate thing about the art world is that most artists don't actually get these huge sums of money for their work because their art is traded like stocks and bonds. The New York Times reported that art dealers were quite relieved when this painting sold for $200 million. The art market had been in a slump, and this sale seemed to point to brighter days ahead. Ken Griffin is believed to have purchased the painting from music and entertainment mogul David Geffen. Ken is another hedge fund guy. The sale got media buzz in 2016. The Pollock painting was produced in 1948 and is a perfect representation of Jackson Pollock's drip style, which he later moved away from. Number 4. The Card Players by Paul Cezanne Value $250 million This painting is part of a series by Cezanne, and Qatar bought it for $250 million or so. When the deal went through in 2012, it was the most money ever paid for a piece of art work. This particular painting depicted a couple of French peasants partaking in a card game. The series featured five paintings in all. The other four may be found in a variety of world-class museums. Cezanne enjoyed painting landscapes, fantasy, and figures. While he had a kinship with Pissarro and played a role in the development of Pissarro's impressionist style, Cezanne's zone work was contemporary, so he was difficult to categorize. He was also a forefather of Cubism and Fauvism. Number 3. Nafia Fa Epoipo by Paul Gauguin Value $300 million. In Tahitian, the title of this stunning masterpiece means, Will You Marry Me? The painting is the work of post-impressionist painter Paul Gauguin, whose work did not win acclaim until after his passing until 1903. Gauguin was a French artist who was renowned for his innovative style. He created oil paintings and prints, and also worked in stone and wood. This particular painting dates back to 1892, and for 50 years it was loaned to a museum in Basel, Switzerland. Gauguin had a taste for the primitive and enjoyed painting out of doors. He was known for using color in an expressive way. Qatar Museums, in its quest to become a global power in the museum game, was believed to be the buyer, although the sale was hush-hush. The tab for this painting was $300 million. The sale went through in 2015, which was definitely a pivotal year for insane art prices. Number 2. Interchange by Willem de Koning Value $300 million This work of art may also be called Interchanged, and it was painted via oil on canvas in 1990. Its creator, Willem de Koning, was born in 1905 and lived all the way until 1997. He was Dutch-American and painted in the abstract impressionism style. The late and great master now has the distinction of creating the second most expensive painting of all time. Interchange sold for $300 million in 2015. It was sold by David Geffen to fellow ultra-rich guy Ken Griffin as part of a half-billion dollar deal for Interchange and a Jackson Pollock painting number 17A, which you'll recall that we touched on earlier. The artist was revered thanks to his gestural style, which really embodies abstract impressionism. He used vigorous strokes to create create paintings that were dramatically abstract, which melded expressionism, surrealism, and cubism. Number 1. Salvador Mundi by Leonardo da Vinci Value $450.3 million Now we come to the most expensive painting of all time. It's the work of visionary master Leonardo da Vinci. A painting has to be excessively special to sell for this kind of price tag, and Salvador Mundi is indeed very special, in part because this alluring masterpiece, which really draws the eye, has one heck of an origin story. Considered to be perhaps the most surprising artistic rediscovery of this century, the painting has been around for 500 
100 years. It re-emerged and was lovingly restored. Doubts were raised about its genuineness, but it was authenticated. The full detail of its provenance is long and colorful and too detailed to share fully here, but it is fascinating. Believed to be painted for French King Louis XII, the painting changed blue-blooded hands repeatedly and then disappeared for two centuries. When it resurfaced, many thought it was a misplaced original which was masked by overpainting. In 2017, a Saudi Arabian prince parted with over $450 million to become the owner of this thrilling masterpiece. So I hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do smash that thumbs up button below and do not forget to subscribe for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also, do hit that notification bell when you are subscribing. Also, why not check out another channel I do called Today I Found Out? I'm going to link to that below. And as always, thank you for watching.